JK9303. Big jacks. See it? There we go. How's that? Nice big jacks. Oh, we've got a group in here. I don't know if you guys can see that with the shadows. It's kind of cool. Yeah, there's a... They've been working the other side. Listen, I dragged a love drag. Isn't that neat? They've been working the other side. Oh, that's better drag. There you go. And I... They've been really funny. They're still popping these malt, but they're not as strong here today as they were the other day. Oh, we got... We still have the lure? Okay, we still have the lure. Well, uh, I'm going to switch off to another rod. I was actually using a popper, trying to get their attention on a big popper. And uh, take a break here a minute. They're they're coming up every once in a while. Oh, wait. Is there some back? There's a, there's a decent snook. Let's see if we get it a hit. Come on, baby. Oh, there's a... Just hanging on the outskirts. There's a snook about... Oh, 30 inches plus. He came and took a look. He's feeding on these mullet too. He came in. That's what brought him in. I, I saw the mullet down there come in. And uh, some of the smaller size mullet, I guess they're selective. You know, sometimes they're whacking the big ones. But once in a while, they're taking these smaller mullet. Anyhow, we're using this popper, which has worked before for the jacks. Trying to get attention of the jacks. And just give it a big old... Actually, it works a little better from a distance, but uh, yeah, because I followed the first hook on it. Um, anyhow, we were trying everything, trying some top water, and uh, these uh, every 15, 20 minutes, these big jacks are coming through. This is the first time they came down under my feet. Uh, did land one earlier, but these were bigger jacks. These were 10 pound range, and there must have been 50 of them. Okay, let's uh, set up with a different rod. We're going to try something else. I'll show you. JK9303 signing off.